Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna. And as you might have guessed, uh, yes, I will be planting some flax and whatever other seeds that can withstand temperature to about minus five degrees. So first of all, let's uh, clear the field. Is that a little puppy? That's a little puppy. And uh, yeah, as you might have guessed, I have broken all of the ice that was in between. I've extended my garden slightly so I can uh, put in a little bit more seeds. I just got to make sure that everything is okay here for K crops. As you can see on the top here, uh, the K crop is perfectly okay. So I'm going to be starting with all the flaxseed. Now I brought everything that I had. I have a lot to plant. But I am going to need all the flax that I can get. And uh, yeah, that uh, that is a lot of flax. <laughs> That's okay. I did bring a bucket also because while removing some of these uh, ice cubes, it kind of left a little hole, meaning that the water is not completely even. Now we also have some soybeans. Let's go and plant those. Some carrots. I have two sunflower seeds. Over here, I will plant all of my turnips, my parsnips, my spelt. I have a couple of cabbages here that I can plant. And as for the rye, I, I think I'm going to have to plant that upstairs. Yeah, there's no more room over here. This garden is almost full. And there you go. There is all of my rye. And I have one pineapple. That's not good enough we don't have the temperature necessary to plant this as you can see the rest uh, this one like onions is up to minus one it still gets below minus three at night but not much more so it is good that we can get at least an early start now i've got here 22 copper ingots with these we can make plates and with the plates we can make hoppers so we got a nice little gale going on outside, so let's start heating up this metal. Let's ignite the forge. And all we gotta do is wait. Now I'll be making myself another little tool rack. I'll be slapping it right over here. And I'll be making myself another pair of wooden tongs that I could just stick up there afterwards. Now I'll just shut this off because it's going to drive me nuts while this metal is heating up. <laughs> so it is nice and warm. Let's grab two. Let's uh, make a plate. Let's install another one and we can turn it on. Now this will automatically shape it into a plate. Might take a little bit of time, but we need a whole lot of it. There's our first plate. Let's go ahead and make another one. Now, don't you start going slow on me, buddy. You have a lot of work to do today. Maybe I could put a hamster wheel and Rick could run on it. Maybe it'll go a little faster. Right, Rick? Oh, come on, dude. I'm just having a little fun here. No need to be a drama queen, Rick. And here goes the last piece. Now what we can do is we can stack them all together. Oh, shoot. Uh, not what I wanted to do. All right, Rick, you know what to do. Oh, yeah. I think those are nice and cool now. Now, for what we needed, we did not need to do that. Yeah, it is nighttime already. How surprising is that? And I am feeling a little peckish right now. Now, all this food is still good for quite a while. I might as well start and eat a little bit of it. Although it's going to be good for next winter. But I do believe by next winter, I'll have <laughs> more than enough food to last me quite a while. Now, for the hoppers, we just needed to put three pieces like this. Now, we're going to make three. And we have our three hoppers. The other thing we need are three chests. Snap the nails in the middle and we can make ourselves three of them. Let's put the rest of these nails here for now. And we might as well bring a little bit of limestone just for testing purposes. I can remove that. Oh, that, uh, that, uh, okay. Yeah, gravity is a thing for that. <laughs> Apparently. Let's remove this thing. Let's put our dirt block right back over here. 
stick the corn back on it. Now what we want are three hoppers. And then we can put three chests underneath. And in there, I'm just gonna stick a torch. So I'm gonna put some line stones in there. Let's uh, reconnect everything. Oh, everything slowed down all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm gonna stop this thing. There you go. And as you can see, whatever I put in there is gonna be tossed out into these three hoppers and go directly inside of the chests. And look at this thing go. It is producing a lot. Except the moderate breeze is not spinning that thing all that fast. And uh, I just realized I, I never finished my ceiling here. That's going to be another task. But I think what we can do for now is uh, get started on the pulverizer. Now for a pulverizer, we'll need the pulverizer frame, the toggle, and the pounders. So let's put everything that we need. And we got ourselves our pulverizer frame. Now for the toggle, we're going to need a plate. It has to be bronze, so we'll grab two of these tin bronze ingots and we'll make a plate out of them. Let's heat that little sucker up. And uh, yeah, I still have uh, about 110 iron blooms that I still need to make iron bars out of. At the speed the health hammer goes, how much time do you think that's going to take me, Rick? Yes, all the time. It's going to take all the time, Rick. That's why I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the flax so I can power up the windmill and I can speed this thing up. Then it's going to go faster and it's going to be more efficient, Rick. You know what, Rick? Go back in your hidey hole. Go and edit. Do something productive. So, those are ready. Let's make our plate. and Let's turn it on. Ugh, this is going to drive me insane. Let's switch it off. And let's place everything as needed. Boom, there you go. Why do I have bamboo stakes? And the next thing we need are pounders, which is uh, simply logs, a hammer, and a chisel. Would appear I have intruders in my house. How did you get in here? Okay, maybe there's still some dark spots in which they can spawn in. Probably the stairs. And let's make ourselves two pulverizer pounders. I never said you could come in here, you. How dare you. And you don't even have anything. You suck. Talk about a waste of arrows. Now, the next thing that we're going to need are pounders. And since we have the iron, we'll make them out of that material. As you can see, it is night, and on the top left of my screen, it is minus 4.4 degrees, meaning the flax is going to be okay, but uh, barely. If it gets any colder, it might uh, die. But I think the cold weather is behind us. The flax should be perfectly fine. Alright, get to work. You just never get used to it. You never do. All right, now that our two bars are ready, let's heat them up a little bit more. Now, for our purposes, I'm going to move this, and since I don't have another tin bronze anvil, I'm going to move this aside, so at least I won't have that thing blocking my view. Let's, oh, crap. Uh, yes, sorry about that. <laughs> Poor little hands. So these are what we need, the iron pounder caps. Let's grab our hammer and let's start placing the little bits in position. There's our first piece. Now let's make the other one. Nice. Now that it's done, we can start at least putting down our pulverizer. First things first, I'm going to place down this uh, claystone rock. Put the pulverizer over here. Slap in the toggle. I'll put in both pounders, and then I put in both pounder caps. As you can see, it is kind of poking up on the top there. I hope that I'm going to be able to put a block there anyways. Now, all we need to do is connect the sink. We're going to need to make ourselves a little bit of angled gear. Not exactly sure how many. We'll make a little bit more just to be safe. Anyways, this stuff is not going to go to waste. And let's make a couple more wooden axles. 
Now we're getting dangerously low on fat. We're gonna have to be careful. Otherwise, it's just gonna be another freaking hunting trip. So let's go back to our majestic windmill and uh, let's make ourselves a little hole. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. So this is our corn down here. We're gonna be moving all the way back here. I think I'm gonna have to do it from down here to know exactly where to place my gears. I want it to go over there. And the gears will come down behind this wall. And there we go. Now we got our axles going around here, going down, and we're gonna need some more axles to make it go to the pulverizer. But the only thing I did not think about is the whole brake system. We're gonna have to do that as well for this. First things first, let's get out of this hole. Oh my god, the hole is so small. It is so small. Let's stick our slab back and a little, little extra thickness so it covers everything up. Obviously, I'm gonna have to poke some holes in here so we can get the whole mechanism to work. Let's start by putting this just to see how well that would work. Oh, look at that go. It is going completely nuts. <laughs> I like it. But the sound again would drive me insane. So I think we are going to make our break, but right here. All right, stop it. Stop. Shh. Be quiet. So let's start with our transmission. Let's put the pieces in place. Here's that. And here's our clutch. I just hope everything works out as it's supposed to. Oh yeah, it is working. Perfectly. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is going to be super productive. Great. Now again, I could do the same thing. Put a hopper, put a chest underneath or something like that. If I wanted to do that, I could put it one block higher still, and then I can have another box on top of it feeding into the pulverizer frame. And for that, I would need some shoot section. And to make shoot sections, I need to smith it. it needs to be done by hand. And luckily, I still have enough copper ingots. Now let's go ahead and heat that up. Let's go ahead and grab one piece and let's put it on here. Now we can make ourselves our chute section. A lot like the grounder caps. Hopefully we'll have enough uh, metal for the whole thing. Should be good. There's one piece. Now let's make the other one. And there's the other piece. All I need to do is put them like that, and I got myself an elbow shoot. And let's slap that in here. Not exactly the right angle. I think I need my wrench for this. And while I'm at it, I might as well make myself another box. Now, can I rotate this? Oh my god, I gotta rotate it until I get the right angle. There you go. Let's put the box on top. Now let's get some resources and give it a try. Now, one of the things that is the hardest to crush is olivine, but with our tier three pulverizer caps, it should be no problem. Now let's slab the olivine in here. Let's turn it on. And it's not working. Why isn't it working? Of course, Rakuna. The reason why it's not working is because you don't have a hopper on. Let's slab that off. Let's slap a hopper in there, put our chest on top, and let's try this again. Now, something is obviously not going as expected. Well, you guys might know. Might as well write it in the comments down below. And there you go. Well, I could actually do it manually. It wouldn't take too long. Yeah, there you go. My inventory's full. But at the speed this thing is going, I don't think it would take too long to just fill the freaking thing manually. All right, that was a that was a great test, but uh, eventually I'm gonna have to figure out what went wrong with the shoots. Well, will you look at that? It is night again. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do take a little nap, and we'll be getting out the next morning. Ah, rise and shine. You know what? It's gonna be time to bring out an extra recurve bow. 
and we'll start our day with a hearthy meal. I'm going to bring myself a little bit of smoked red meat along with a fired crock of red meat stew with boiled turnips. I don't think I'll be getting hungry anytime soon. So let's go check on the plants. I think that everything should be growing fine. I mean, we just planted those, what, one or two days ago? It's going to take a little bit of time. But as you can see, these are going fine. There's no rabbits and uh, my plants are safe. And what are you doing there, little pig? There's no way that I could bring you up to my little farm area, right? I, I don't think so. Hey, good morning, little raccoon. How are you doing? Oh, uh, you I am not happy to see. I might as well take you down. And uh, while I'm going over in that direction, I might as well stop by and see the trader. Maybe I'll be able to buy some more arrows out of them. Oh, look at that, rusty gears. And you? More rusty gears. I'll take them. So I am heading back south past my resin farm because I wanted to go see the trader and at the same time maybe poke around in one of the translocators. I haven't explored all that much on the other sides. Ooh, will you look at that plant? That looks nice. I think I'll grab those for home. Hello, trader that I never remember your name. Uh, Sprig, that's right. What do you have for sale? Yes, I know I'm uh, waving a little bit. It's because I'm slightly drunk. I did drink a little bit of wine. But, uh, you know, you don't have anything that I need. Yeah, you have a great day as well. Of course, I had to be chased by pesky wolves. Yeah, I, I, there's no way that I could be running freely and not be bothered by them. Oh, that's a dark cave. That's a dark cave, and I am in a corner. Um, okay. Well, they're not bugging me anymore. And this cave has nothing. Oh, dang it. It's not even a cave. Well, I think I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Are, are you dead? That's one less wolf. I see one over there. Let's take him out as well. Booyah. That's gonna be three less pesky buggers that are gonna annoy me during this season. Ooh, you have some nice pelt and fat as well. Another one. Get over here. Nope. You wanted to start this? I'm gonna finish this. There you go. Well, some nice pelt we got there. Okay, I I'm hearing another freaking wolf, and you know what? Enough is enough. I can't fight them all, I just gotta get away. How did I not see this before? On the way to the uh, portal, it appeared that we have some resources here. I can see we have some feathers, some grains. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go and sort my inventory a little bit. Now, the only downside to this is that we have a temporal storm approaching, and that is going to happen while we're on the other side. Ugh. Well, looks like we're gonna have to fight them off. And away we go. All right, so yeah, I do remember having a ladder over here. I think this is where there was a whole lot of olivine. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go cave dwelling just yet. I need to make an armor first, but we do have the resources, except it's gonna take a lot of time to turn a lot of these iron blooms into iron plates. So I'm glad to see that it is uh, <laughs> winter has left this area as well. Hey guys, might as well kill a few orcs. You as well? And let's grab your gears. Hey, you can you can keep your pants. I'm not really interested in undressing you. Now, this is where we were, this is where we've been, this is where there was the church over here. The only thing is we haven't gone south. And I think that's where we're going to be heading. Oh yeah, the only thing is south is a big old foresty area. Probably full of wolves and bears, so let's tread carefully. I don't want to be a bear or a wolf's next lunch. So this is pretty cool. We got ourselves a little andesite area, which is a... Uh, more of a bluish gray type of uh, stone or gravel or sand however you want it could be an interesting thing to go ahead and grab some if i want to use it for some more building material 
Well, looky what we have here. We have ourselves a trader next to a small ruin. Let's go ahead and poke around and see what this guy's all about. Hey, Noah, how you doing? All of that, right? You seem to have a lot to say. But uh, I'm not really interested in buying any of this stuff. Ugh, but maybe my body leather jerkin could use a replacement. Gambeson body armor? Tier 2? You know what? That might be a good investment. Especially if I'm going to be fighting some of these uh, drifters, you know what I mean? I'll take one of those, sir. Or ma'am. Or wh whatever. Thank you. Yeah, anyways, this uh, body leather jerkin had no more durability. It is no longer good. So let's grab ourselves a little something to eat. And let's go check this out over here. Oh, look, another broken translocator. Oh, that is kind of cool. Besides that, just a little uh, bit of uh, junk and whatnot or just around. Now, I think over here will be a great place to make my stand. Got a big, nice open flat area. And what do we have here? Got ourselves an age lore book. Noise. Ink and quill. Ooh, that'll look neat. Why am I holding this? And we got ourselves some beeswax. And a parchment. What is this? A minstrel coat? I just know I would look fancy in that. And of course, it's in terrible condition. So if I take a parchment, apparently I could write a book. Oh. That is neat. <laughs> I didn't know that, and I never really dabbled in that, so uh, it is kind of new. So we have another ruin over there. I think we might have a little bit of time to check it out. Yeah, over here we got some uh, green glass, which I'm not going to use. Ooh, rusty gears. And we got ourselves a tuning cylinder. Peaceful village. I could probably dump... Uh, some feathers for that. In these uh, pear dots, I keep them in my mining bag. Yeah, look at this. Uh, all built of andesite. Looks pretty cool. It's not one of those uh, massive ruins, but a ruin nonetheless. And we got a broken anvil over there. <laughs> Let's climb up and see what we got. We got more ruin materials. We got ourselves a little bit of food over here. Which is, uh, of course, going to be some flax, and I'm not interested. That's not what feeds you the most, let's say. Anywho, battle awaits. I'm going to head back towards the trader. At least I'll have a little fallback point. All I know is I got to go and uh, be constantly on the move with uh, the drifters that will be appearing. And I do have my four-long sword to keep me company. All right, so we got a big open field over here. I've got a very limited amount of arrows. Let's uh, put this down here for a second. I'm going to put the, some stuff in there. All right, Rick, this is going to be a battle for the ages. So kick in the doom music because it's starting. Okay, okay, that was that was very, very intense battle. Ah, <laughs> I managed to survive, but I think I can thank the Gambeson armor that I just bought. Oh, there you go, finally a temporal gear. That's the only one that I've gotten. So far, all that it's been is flax. A few pieces of flax here and there. I know I need it, 
But come on, I'm fighting an army of drifters here. Oh, you bastard. Throughout this whole fight, now you managed to sneak up and hit me. Great, good on you. Alright, there's just a couple of them, and they're beginning to annoy the crap out of me. We still have a medium rift activity going on. So I'm gonna try and at least salvage whatever I can from these drifters. And then I'm gonna cower inside with the- oh, look at that! Uh, with the traitor, yeah. Well, I found one of my arrows. <laughs> one remaining arrow out of everything that I got. But I think for the rest of the night, I'm gonna stay with my good old buddy here. And uh, I will see you guys on the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button. And until next time, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.